coming into the village, you know, I had very little idea of what the results would be. I'd never in my wildest dreams would I have expected to be walking away from the games with four gold medals. I mean, it really has been a sort of dream come true. After the first, you know, my, I feel like my main priority um, was you know to do well for the team because you know us group of boys you know it's 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 more like family than friends um, you know we we train together we put hours in and you know we go through a lot physically and emotionally um, but to be able to support each other and do well like it really it really means everything um, but yeah, after the first day I was absolutely over the moon you know to be at my first Commonwealth Games as a gold medalist like as my, on my debut like I just couldn't believe it and then I've, I mean I've, I did so well in qualifications that I managed to make uh, three other finals which you know I've, I've never I've never had the opportunity to compete on every single day that there's been competitions um, you know I, I just felt grateful for all of those opportunities um, and you know, I just I wanted to enjoy the moment and kind of just soak everything up and just take everything day by day. So the national lottery has is a huge part of this sport. Um, you know, the the support we get um, funding wise, um, it really does help. Um, I, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to do this sport as as well as we could. You know, like the support that we get, like it, it means that you know I can train. Uh, I can train gymnastics as my career, and I don't have to. Um, I don't have to worry about trying to find um, a job outside of gymnastics, you know, because it is. It's a really physic. It's a really physically demanding sport, and you know, at the end of your training day, you just want to go back home and relax. But yeah, I'm. I'm really grateful for all the support.